we can then get the period of revolution which is the time it takes for the charged particle to go around one complete revolution and we showed in the previous video that omega is d theta by dt it turned out to be v over r and it's qb over m this is what the angular speed is so if you take d theta and you write it as omega dt and you integrate you get theta is equal to omega t if you put the th angle for one complete revolution and the time for one complete revolution the time for one complete revolution is big t and the angle for one complete revolution is 2 times pi so this gives us a relationship between the period of revolution and the angular speed and since we know what omega is it's qb over m we can substitute the value of omega here and get the period of revolution. So the period of revolution turns out to be 2 pi over t, uh, 2 pi over omega, and omega is qb over m, and you get this for the period of revolution.